Hello and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 with me Barden and our Lizardmen campaign with Lord Mazdamundi. Okay, so let's tick that. You will of course be aware that armed forces cost currency to okay. build and maintain. Be sure to keep watch on your finances lest ruin overtakes you. Okay, so um, in in previous Warhammer games, kind of the income, you had a delicate balance between income and also kind of the um, public order in your settlements. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> but um, so you couldn't like squeeze every bit of gold or denarii or whatever it happened to be out of your settlements because you then um you know especially with newly claimed settlements you then open yourself up to maybe revolts or riots or um things like this so i'm wondering how it's gonna work in this one so it's gonna be interesting so each faction maintains a central treasury the current uh, treasury value and overall income per turn is shown at the top of the screen okay so uh it's there so normally in the warhammer are Total War game, it's down here, like, and you have your end turn button off. But I guess they're kind of gone more um, Warhammer -y again, because in Warhammer type games are played, a lot of the UI is up here instead. Okay. Let us review what destruction the warm blooded trespassers have wrought on your territory, enlightened lord. Okay. Select the temple city to inspect your province. The province surrounding your capital is shown here, my lord. A province may contain many cities, each exerting authority over the territory surrounding them. Okay, that's control interesting. Control the cities, I like that. you control the land. I like that we've got multiple cities in a province. But I, I hope then that um, in the... So we can get a closer look. That looks almost like um, Denmark when you look at it like that. But maybe it is because part of um, I know part of the Warhammer map was supposedly based on like the parts of Germany and that kind of area of Europe. Um, yeah, so it looks like there's there's a nice big map. Because um, something that um, I kind of felt with other Warhammer games, or other, I'm gonna keep, <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying Warhammer and Total Warhammer, or Total War. See, <laughs> I'm gonna keep um, probably mixing them up just because um, they're both in my head at the same time. Um, but in other Total War games, some some ones kind of did it where you. Like the way you claim territory, you could go and uh, take a city and you got a huge territory. And I never really felt that that was, was kind of, you know, very realistic. I always felt that, well, no, maybe, you, you know, in the same territory, you could have rivals who have controlled some of your towns or something like that. And, or who controls maybe a certain areas or certain resources. and. I like that it's in this one. Cities within the local province are shown here, my lord. Okay. Yeah. Along with any facilities they contain. So those are locked because we don't control them. That looks like we have to repair. Okay, these icons represent buildings within a settlement in the province. The first icon uh, within each settlement represents the settlement building, upgrades to which affect the settlement as a whole. Okay. Shown also are those cities in the province that were lost to the enemy. A reminder of the need to reclaim them, my lord. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Okay, and then there's the faction. Go. Cool. Your capital and the buildings it contains are shown here, my lord. Work needs to be done to improve its readiness for war. Okay. Here we may see the state of the province that surrounds your capital. The enemy raids have caused considerable unrest, 
Public order is suffering, as you can see, my lord. The agitators will need calming in time, but matters of defense are more pressing. Okay, growth, yeah. So again, in the in um, total war, you got you got to manage your growth because growth limits the size of your settlements. Um, so if you tax people too highly, then you may um, end up either with no growth or negative growth. Um, then also, if you don't take care of things like um, say public health or um, stuff like that or say the supply of food or whatever they need um, you're going to affect that as well okay so there's our tax um, so don't see a tax rate that we can that we can adjust so I'm wondering whether in this game it's just not there to make it kind of less to have less things for people to manage or whether it's a case of um, that's something that will come later when he kind of takes his shackles off. There's a public order. Okay, so it's negative. So normally it's like on a scale of zero to 100. And what is it? If it goes below, in previous ones, if it went below 70%, you would get um, a red face like this guy. And that means that um, there's a, you know, a decent chance that you're going to have riots or some kind of rebellion. Okay, and then um, so corruption is a measure of chaos, vampiric skaven influence in the province, and it's shown. So that's similar to um, to religion in previous games. Okay. Your cities are the backbone of your state, my yep. lord. Taxes are raised through them. And they provide the infrastructure necessary to support your armies. Okay, yeah. I humbly suggest you commission upgrades to your capital as soon as possible. Right, so Good. let's do that. Construction will begin immediately, but will take some time to complete. So that says we can construct something, but maybe again he's locking it out for there us. There is nothing more you can do for now, my lord. Okay, so Let apparently we can't. Your enemies' next move. There we go, let's end the turn. Okay, so that's our first turn. Oh, he's doing a bit of a dance. Okay. Oh, I like that there's lots of factions. Okay, so the Skeggy are coming to say hi. The enemy opt to attack your position, my lord. Ready your forces. The battle is upon you once more. Okay, so let's fight the battle. So looking at um, his guys, he's got a lot of, um, so that was the, the equivalent, yeah, well it is a cannon, yeah, I was going to say the equivalent of a cannon. So he's got these guys, then he's got um, missile cavalry, so they're going to try to, um, try to basically just harass us, and then those guys are going to be easy to deal with, um, and then that guy, we just don't want to um, let him do too much to us. Okay. So they're attacking us. And um, generally in uh, Total War games, depending on whether you're the, you're the attacker or the defender, um, you know, it can, it really does kind of shape how the battle goes because if the AI is defending, they'll never move towards you. Um, they'll set up and wait for you to come. And if they're the attacker, they will always move towards you. So battle is upon you once again, my lord. Your forces are ready to deploy for the coming engagement. Okay. They may be positioned anywhere within the area shown. So what I want to do first of all is to oh, let's get rid of you. So always first of all, the terrain oh. prior to battle and position yes, your troops to gain that's what an edge. Yes, we're do. Thank you. Okay. This forest may be used to conceal your forces. Arrange your cavalry here, my lord, and they will remain unseen until the enemy draw close. Uh, okay, I guess we have to do that. I wouldn't have done that, I have to say. But um, let's put them in there. Good. Yes, so. Your troops are now hidden from enemy sight, as you can see. 
but the only problem with that is that cavalry um, get a negative for moving through there so but looking at the way the map is so I think it would be best for us to maybe set up here move into this position here then keep our cavalry hidden and as they come they probably come up this hill here to fight us and then the cavalry can then sweep down and around okay so let's um, just select all these guys Most, okay. Uh, to general. Attention to your unit cards, my lord, for they indicate the status of your troops. Yep, cool. Yeah. Be Got mindful that. of your army. Yeah. Success on the battlefield depends cool. upon Got it. it. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This ridge will afford your troops an edge in the coming battle, my lord. Yes. Place the rest of your troops close by and claim its forward slopes once battle begins. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Good. Your troops are ready, my lord. Just give the signal and the engagement shall begin. Okay, so let's start the battle. To arms then. The enemy enter the field. Advance and claim the hilltop, my lord. Its slopes will serve your forces well. These guys Keep behind. your cavalry hidden. Yep. Let's put him behind there. Okay, so the cannon is going to do um, a bit of damage to us to start. We're not too concerned about it. And I think they're trying maybe to flank. So. Or, oh, they're. The enemy field artillery against you. Yeah. They will be able to strike against your forces at great range. Yeah, it's amazing. Employ your hidden forces, my lord. Advance them through the forest, and they will be able to quickly surprise and overwhelm the enemy war machines. Okay. So. The enemy draw close, my lord. Yeah. Be sure to have your troops arranged for battle. So he hasn't Employ shown us the group. Wear them down with missiles. That's what I want to do. Pin them with infantry. Then hit them in the flanks. Yep. Got it. Okay, so you guys need to shoot them. You guys need to shoot them. You guys need to I think draw over here. A bit. You guys go there. You guys go there. General, go attack them. Okay. Your troops come under fire, Commander. Have them find cover or eliminate the source. Yep, we're eliminating the source. Here we go. Well on, General Chap. Okay. So there, guys, are still the moving waver, forward. Their troops begin to flee. Run the cowards down. I want you guys shoot them. You guys help them. General guy, get back here. Then this group. Where are you? Okay. So they're in place. Let's go attack there. So I'm going to. I think pretty soon I'm going to charge down the hill. Let's get the sky over here. Let's get you guys over here. So they're gonna uh, come up this way. So these guys are gonna move out of the way. Where's our general? Okay, he's okay for now. Those guys should have taken out. That guy. The enemy uh, attack your flank, shoot. Commander. Drive them off. Let's get our guys in there. Then I want one unit of you guys to go get them. And 
you're going to attack them. You guys should now be able to just attack. Because they're out of, um, out of javelins or wherever they're using. Now, we should get a shock um, value on these guys as well. So they're running in, which is fine. Um, I think we've gotten, yeah, we've taken out. So they're just going to um, chase them off for a second and then come back here. So we're going to, again, shock the back. Okay. And their army is about to fall apart. Any the enemy second commander now. runs from the field, go, my yeah. lord. And a sorry spectacle it is too. His army will see the enemy have been put to flight, my lord. Okay, there we go. Victory is yours. So now we just clean up really. Okay. Okay, and there's the victory. And then if we want now we can end the battle. Okay. So I want to chase these guys down as much as possible. Them. Get them. Okay, good. Guys. Right, get them. Good chaps. Get them. Okay, and then let's just increase the speed. It's actually hard to tell on this if people are moving faster or not. Nice. So riding down fleeing units um, which a cavalry is always a good idea. So um, let's get you to go after them. Yeah, in previous Total War um, we would have been able to put it up really high. But uh, this one, it doesn't look like it. Looks like that may be the edge of the map coming up there. Okay, so I'm just I'm just waiting to see if we can actually catch any of these guys before we end the battle. So you guys should turn around and attack them. And you guys just keep Why aren't you following your orders? Oh, okay. So this happens sometimes in Total War. This is one unit. So there's a guy running at the back and a guy running there, but they can't. But if we tell them to go this way, they will attack this guy. Sure you will, yeah. But if we click on the unit, they'll go after those guys. And then another guy gets to hold, hold the banner. Okay, so I'm trying to basically reduce their numbers as much as I can because any units that get off the field can potentially form um, another, can form another unit for them. Yeah, and it looks like the speed up doesn't work on this side of things so I don't I I don't like that I'd rather have like the way that the old tot wars are okay so let's end the battle and then we just end that battle so we're victorious it was a decisive victory but again um you know 
we were given a distinct advantage in that battle. Um, and, you know, so it wasn't, we haven't really been given kind of any even, even battles yet. Okay, and then we get our loot. Okay, and then we can need a release, which we're not going to do. Um, we could exterminate them, or we could replenish. Um, I think this time we go for the extermination. Okay, and then there's his army. So the guys that, that got off the field have made up the rest of his army. Okay, those warm bones that attack us do so with purpose. Let us strike back against them, reclaim what is ours, and discern their motives. Okay. One thing I would say about um, this so far as well is that um, so we have how many normally gives you it's how many turns okay. reward 1000 okay. okay it doesn't actually unless i'm blind it doesn't say how many turns you get to do it so maybe it's just open-ended but um in other total wars you kind of get even early on you get an idea of what the factions outside of yours are doing but right now um it kind of feels like we are um uh, kind of almost in a bubble here the battle is upon us study your options carefully the enemy okay. are close so that's fight the battle will be spilled Okay, and also I'm going to be um, very interested to see how this game handles having multiple um, multiple large armies. So if we have like a full stack army and we have another one close by. Your soldiers are ready to deploy for battle, my lord. They so await your did. orders. Um, let's start deployment. Okay, and then, uh, so we're the attackers, so uh, we're not going to be um, lulling them, you know, into an attack or anything like that. So let's grab these guys, actually all of those guys, Then you are Harvard Infantry, so you need to be in this unit as well. Oh, okay, so let's do that. You are... Solar engine. Okay, so you're not going to be in this unit. Okay, so then let's group these guys. Okay, group, group, group. Out of your group. Okay, then melee front. Let's put the missile in front. Okay, and then let's just try. That doesn't look anything like I expected it to. Okay, so where are you guys? You're the missile. Okay. You're the infantry. So. Okay. Missile in the front, please. Still not doing what I want. Okay. So let's grab the missile guys and actually place them in the front. There we go. Okay, happy with that. Then you go up here. Yeah, I want you to fire from up here. So go back there okay. so you may not get to shoot at them and then you guys 
So in the past, the general would have been uh, like like a mounted unit that you would have I at least I would have put with the my other mounted units. But I think he's going to stick close to these guys because he's not really in that mold now. Okay, there we go. And then this group are going to move forward. Be sure to position your troops accurately in battle, my lord. Yeah. Drag out your formations for best effect. Okay. Suras. Then the boss man's gonna come there. You're gonna yeah, he's already shooting. Oh, that wasn't close, was it? Okay, so they've decided to try and harass these guys, which is fine by us because we just chased them off. Oh, it's a bit too sensitive on the turning, I feel. I'll have to um, turn that down. And then let's get the boss man moving as well. Okay, so now we've got pretty much got them enveloped. So. Those guys are running. Now we're just going to get stuck in here. So again, not a very difficult battle. And we're gonna um, win it pretty easily. The enemy, the enemy is dead. Is slain, my lord, hmm. cursing your name with his dying breath. Send his army after him. Okay, so let's just try to wipe out as many of these as we can. So I want to make sure that we're keeping the pressure up on those guys. Okay, they're almost done. You guys are going to go attack there. Okay. Here we go. We won. Okay, and um, I think we're just going to end the battle this time because. There isn't as big an advantage, especially on the small scale. Maybe when there's they have a, a very large army and there's lots of units to run down, maybe we'll keep going. But uh, for now, I'm happy enough that we got the victory. So his army is pretty much eliminated. Now, whether his... Um, his main units survive or not is an order. Okay. So that's gonna give us 10% replenishment, so um, looking at yeah that's gonna um, be nice so let's do that. Go Okay, so right unlock, right of ferocity, an ancient right that invigorates those reptiles who oppose trespassers, intruders, and servants of the ancient enemy. This right is now available to be performed by the right panel at the bottom right of the campaign interface. Okay, okay enemy killed in battle. Lamont, our enemy belonging to the Skeggy, has perished in the battle of uh, Hexotl, Itmus of Lustria. Okay. Those that serve your cause gain experience over time, my lord. Be sure to guide their development to your advantage. Okay. Well, that's one thing I like. Is that um, we can kind of guide how the generals um, progress. Whereas in previous, a lot of previous Total War games, it was kind of uh, just by chance where or by doing acts of certain acts of bravery maybe their command would go up or you know from defeat then they would maybe um, end up with a negative trait or and then just randomly they would get other traits as well so um, we have two 
and unassigned skill points. So let's see what we can do here. Okay. So let's have a look at him. You have gained experience and may now develop your skills accordingly. Okay. See for yourself. Right, so um, skills for this character displayed here, okay. Okay, so harmonic convergence, overcast spell, cooldown minus 30%. So what does it actually do? So self analyzing 200 meters, plus 27 defense, plus 30 armor, and plus 26 attack. Okay, so that's good for maybe um, where the where like the general is in the middle of the battle and um, kind of in that area is where the battle could be won and lost. Okay, then this one. Okay, receive a leadership on. So that's good for um, when you're worried about units routing. You can kind of um, just inspire them to keep fighting a bit longer than they normally would. So that would be good in a case where um, we feel like our, our army is wavering and we're getting a little overwhelmed. Okay, and route marcher campaign move range plus 10%. So that's kind of an advantage on the world map. Um, and it, for some generals, maybe it's gonna be good because it will allow us to to maybe get back to defend the place that normally we couldn't. But I think I'm gonna um, pick this one. Especially now, because later on, maybe this one is gonna be good. Um, but this one for now, I think is the one to go for sim simply because um, it means, so I think we're gonna be like the stronger force. So giving ourselves that extra impetus to end the battle earlier is gonna be good. Okay, so um, we've done that. Now, what else do you want to do? You want to go to details, okay. And then we can pick here, so followers and banners followers may join your character and banners may be won in battle okay that's cool each lord or hero may be joined by up to six followers and banners certain followers may only join lords or heroes and banners may only be equipped by lords okay fine unused followers and banners may be assigned to other characters okay so I guess they're like um, kind of captains or um, like officers say. Okay, so we got magical items. Okay, so this is, this kind of bit is more on the Warhammer side of things I feel. Okay, traits um, more on the Total War side. Okay, and then general info. Okay, that's fine. Close the character details, will do. Okay. Um, so he's ranked two. So we've got a while before he's gonna rank up again. Um, now, Mr. Let's just take that and see if he wants to do anything else but I think, I think it's pretty much um, end of turn we could maybe recruit some guys um, we do have to be mindful though of um, this as well so I think I'm gonna get um, one more of each of those guys and then I'm going to end my turn. Okay, see those guys freaking out down there. 
yeah this kind of speed that you see there was often available on the um on the battle map as well at the end your cold-blooded kind are the true guardians of the world ancient lord yet the younger races care little for the designs of the old ones deploy your ferocious warriors and wield your most potent sorcery you okay, shall cool. impose the order you seek yeah that's nice assistance is available should you need it my lord you may rely upon it okay in-game help is available pressing help button okay that's fine thank you okay so as i said um i had a feeling that the hand holding would stop in this episode and it looks like that's what's happening so we're gonna go and um besiege the monolith of fallen gods so we're gonna find City out how reached, and your warriors are prepared for battle mighty lord okay. study your options nevertheless encircling the enemy and starving them out may be the wisest course of action so he's got a decent army there so um we're gonna encircle okay and then what that'll do is that's probably going to tempt them to counterattack against us and maybe give us a little bit of an advantage so let's end the turn and see what they do i have to say this bit over here it doesn't feel as slick as a lot, some of the rest of the Put UI. skinks to work on improving your methods of warfare, my lord. Okay. For this task, they will need even grander edifices. Okay, what have we got to do then? Um, ensure that one of the following buildings has been constructed. So star chamber, spawn pools, brave, beast lair, scrying pool, skink foraging camp, skink barrios, grand plaza, or stone mark. Stone marker, sorry. So we get 500. Um, right, Recent so. events have sown disorder within your temple city, mighty lord. Take steps to re-establish your will over your lizard kin. Okay, so this one, master, while your every thought and whim is law, the comet flying so low has had an unnerving effect on some spawn kin, they dare question question your interpretation of the great plan. Such discordance must be dealt with. Restore public order. Okay. Okay. So um, now let's see whether one of the buildings that we can build will restore public order. Okay. So basic militia. Okay, resonance landmark. Okay, advanced military defense infrastructure. Okay, so we've got um, stink for valas. Stink foraging camp. Old one monument. So what will that? What's that? going to do that's what I wanted to know public order okay uh, so that's okay spawn pools So we can't use that, we can only use this one. Okay, let's get out of there for a second. Let's see. Right, so. Landmark resources. I'd say I don't like um, how this I don't like how this 
is laid out that we have to, there's an extra layer that wasn't there in um, other Total War games. Advanced military defense infrastructure. Okay, so, so right click for further information. So, is that this is what we're building? Spawning pool, underground, unlocks recruitment, unlocks technology. Unlocks technologies. Da, 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 da. Okay, so per public order plus four. That's what I want. So let's construct that. Okay, that's being constructed now. Then, what else do I want to do? I think I want to construct something else. So, advanced military, maybe defense. Use powerful arcane warding to defend settlements against foolish trespassers. Basic military, increase temperature. Okay. Resource. Okay, so I think um, can we? I think we can only do the one at the moment. Is what it seems to be saying at least. So on the Grand Lagoon. We've already got that. That's going to cost a thousand. Okay, and then we've got one more. Can't do anything on defense. Um, what's this gonna do? Income, um, growth, replenishment, and then unlocks the table spawning. I think let's get some income stuff on the go as well. Okay, and then, um, so that's our construction. So. The getting used to the buildings is going to come with time. Uh, just knowing kind of which buildings do what, you know, it's going to take a little while to, to get um, to kind of for that to become second nature. What does what? But um, what we're going to do is next episode we'll end the turn and we'll see what kind of response um, we get to our besieging of the monolith of fallen gods and um, still having a lot of fun playing the game. Hope you're having fun watching. Um, this, as I said, there's gonna be little bits here and there where I'm not too sure because I'm playing blind, but um, we'll get to grips with the game pretty quickly because after all, it is, it is a total war game. Um, but as I said, I'm having fun. Hope you're having fun. And I hope if you are that you consider sharing um, this video with your friends or on your favorite social media and i really do hope to see all of you next time goodbye thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left